The University of Sussex International Study Centre opened in July of 2006 and it has been growing very rapidly ever since. We cater especially for international students who are looking to go on to study at university. I've been here for nearly 10 years now. So if there's attendance problems or any health issues, if they're not doing very well in their lessons, I'm the one that coordinates with the heads of subject to get them supported. My job is also to enhance the transition between um, Sussex ISE and Sussex University. We have created an environment for students which addresses what they individually need. A sort of tailor-made, focused place to study that um, understands their challenges. It's a great campus as well on the countryside. Yeah, very, very international, very cosmopolitan. An environment that um, satisfies what I uh, wanted to be a teacher for in the beginning. I built up a lot of confidence at Sussex ISC because I, I've done loads of things that I never thought I can do. It taught me to look above and beyond what I think I can do. Just being in a foreign country by yourself, you really need to become more mature. You need to learn how to take care of yourself more. Do what you're really, really, truly passionate about, like money and success will follow. Kath Gilmore goes above and beyond her pay grade and her job and her job description. And she always keeps the students first. Joe Otters, Deb, and uh, also Rick and uh, Fraser Hamilton. Oof, he'd kill me if I forgot to mention him. I'm grateful that they were my teachers because they really, they really helped me in my education. One of my favorite tutor is Robert Cooper. And he's a really caring and patient gentleman, I would say. Thank you. It's, it's good, it's great to hear, to know that they, you know, they felt that way and it's great. They don't often say it at the time. <laughs> uh, it was really nice to hear one, one of my students um, giving me a shout out. Even if we don't remember the names, we remember the faces. They do come and they do thank us, but it's lovely to hear um, what he has to say. I'm, I'm impressed he still remembers me <laughs> thinks that I was a good tutor. To know that it genuinely helps them and that they're now happy. I'd like to think I've given students um, a good start in their studies. So I know I made that their path easier. You know, we know they're capable, so if I've made that um, experience smoother or, you know, better for them and allowed them to go on, then, um, yeah, I'd, I'd be happy with that. I take my hat off to a student who comes and does a degree in a different language. I've, I'm just astonished at what they achieve. I'd say, Come and, and get involved and be engaged as much as possible. Uh, keep on going, you know, strive, get what you want and keep in touch. It's a difficult thing for them to, to suddenly be dropped into another country. I think we're in the best position we've ever been now for, for teaching those students. So whoever, you know, whoever comes now has, has the advantage of getting the best of us and our experience and knowledge, I think. Sometimes all it needs is confidence. So come and try it. Go there. Shukriya. Buy a donkey. Come on. Hey, man. <laughs>